Pickleball, at its most fundamental, is played on a court with a wiffle ball and a big paddle. But there is so much more to it than that. If you've been playing pickleball for a while and you're curious about how to improve your game, then today's video is for you. Because we'll discuss the best tips to help you transform and level up your pickleball game. Hello and welcome to Pro Pickleball Media, your number one spot for all pickleball content. Our channel is dedicated to the fastest growing sport in the US and we cover all fun and exciting things related to pickleball. So if you love pickleball and want to learn more about it, just take a second to subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss any of our recent videos. In today's video, we're going to talk about three pickleball tips that can transform your game instantly. Make sure to stick around till the end of the video where we'll explain the key strategies that can uplift your game from beginner to pro level. Now let's get right into the video. Tip number one, use a continental grip. It's not uncommon for players in a racket sport like tennis to switch between multiple different grips throughout a set. However, on the more compact courts, the action can move quickly, leaving little time to switch grips mid-return. Therefore, it's suggested that you always shoot with a continental grip. An example of a continental grip would be holding a hammer with one hand. Look down as the paddle and your thumb and forefinger should make a Nike swoosh. This is the correct grip. This allows for substantial bend and power without necessitating a strenuous hold on the paddle. Tip number two, the power game is A-OK. -okay. A power game strategy can be used successfully in pickleball. It's fine to focus on driving the ball during matches if that's what you enjoy doing and what you're strong at. Maybe the other players will call you a banger, but so what? However, there's an important point to make. Even if you are primarily a power player, it is your advantage to learn the nuances of the gentler game, or at least be able to switch things up every so often to throw off your opponents. Just picture wearing your opponent down with drive after drive, then sneaking up on them with a lob over their heads, or dinking a shot softly in their kitchen when they least expect it. That poor foe of yours won't know what hit him. Tip number three, understand the soft game. If you've ever watched a pickleball match, you may have noticed that the players seem to smash the ball very softly towards each other, requiring 10, 11, or even 12 volleys to win a single point. The so-called soft game is widely used in pickleball. Positioning, accuracy, and timing are crucial to the success of this plan. A banger will attempt to score on nearly every shot, while a soft game player will look for the game-winning shot and try to force the opponent to make a costly error. There are three possible states to be in during a pickleball point, as opposed to just offense or defense in other sports. Attacking, defending, neutral. When you attack, you're making an active effort to harm your opponent and gain an advantage. You're defending when you take active measures to prevent your opponent from scoring a point, such as hitting the ball over the net or into a more advantageous position for yourself. While a point can be earned with a neutral shot, its primary purpose is to buy you and your partner additional time to reposition advance to the NVZ line, or otherwise strengthen your position in the battle. Therefore, even if you are more of a power game player, it'll benefit you much to familiarize yourself with these many aspects of the soft game in order to increase your chances of winning more pickleball matches. Tip number four, attack balls down at your opponent instead of through your opponent. When an opponent is in your line of sight, the temptation to hit the ball straight at them is high. However, that will often occur is that the player will have an easy defense return because players tend to maintain their paddles in front of their body when they're playing the game. Instead, you should concentrate on striking the ball down towards your opponent's feet or on either side of them. This is a much more effective tactic. This compels your opponent to get on the ground in order to retrieve the ball, which could place them in an awkward position when they try to return it to you. It's usually a good idea to try to throw off your opponent's equilibrium when you can. Now, before we move ahead to talk about more about game-changing pickleball tips, please take a second to like this video and subscribe to our channel so that we can keep bringing more informative pickleball content to you. Your little contribution means a lot for us. Tip number five, have a strong paddle ready position up at the NVC line. At the lines denoting the non-volley zone NVC, the action can be quick and frantic at times. That being said, you should always be prepared. There are typically three different positions that players should hold their paddles in in relation to their bodies when playing the game of paddle tennis. In the first position, the paddle is positioned at the 12 o'clock position in relation to your chest and head, and the face is turned to the left and right. Position two of a backhand involves having the handle of the paddle about the nine o'clock position and the face of the paddle open in front of you. And in position three, your paddle will be positioned a little higher, perhaps between 10 and 11 o'clock. When we talk about being paddle ready, we usually mean that the players should be in the third position. Because you're in this posture, you will have the ability to immediately react to a fast paced volleys by moving left and right across your body. When you're in this position, the majority of the time, you'll be using your backhand to hit the ball from the kitchen line, which is the position that will help you win more of these volleys. Tip number six, practice compact and short strokes. 
If you come from a tennis background, you might be used to taking huge, wild swings when you play. And while there will be opportunities for swings of such nature on the pickleball court, the majority of shots need to be quick, compact in order to be successful. This is due to the fact that the ball will return to you at a significantly faster pace than it does in tennis. You can get back into a ready position much more quickly if you take a brief stroke. Tip number seven, always be ready for the fastball. When somebody hits a dink, lob, or softer shot, you have more time to react to it than when someone hits a rapid driving shot. As a result, it is in your best interest to always be prepared for something to come at you quickly. You will be in a better position to respond swiftly and improve your return if you're always prepared. Tip number eight, let the ball come to its apex. Bad shots are often the result of having to play the ball immediately after it has bounced. The ball is still in motion and has a lot of momentum, so if you miss with your paddle, the shot will go high or low. You should instead wait for the ball to reach its apex, the highest point of its bounce, before striking it with your paddle. At its highest point, the ball's speed and spin are at their lowest, making it an easy target to hit squarely and impart your own style upon. When possible, wait for the ball to reach its highest point before striking it. However, there will be moments when this is impossible, such as on a volley or right after the bounce. Tip number nine, be patient. The last tip is to be patient. Not every point in a match features a lengthy rally, although they do occur frequently, especially in the later stages. You as a casual gamer might be curious as to why. In most cases, this is because the pros know that being patient and waiting for the appropriate moment might be the difference between victory and defeat. Having patience is essential. You need to concentrate on getting into the best possible position for each shot and hitting the ball in a way that puts your opponent in an awkward spot. This can be a slow process at times, maybe more beneficial to work on preparing for a potential game-winning shot rather than concentrating on scoring the present shot. So, what do you think about these amazing pickleball tips? Tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like this video and share it with your fellow picklers. Also, if you love pickleball, then make sure to watch this next video on our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.